about to be when Jack got the best of me. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Curtis Cash here, back with another video. Today, we got an interesting video because it involved one of my favorite players in the league. You know, Dame is top two when it comes to my favorite players in the league right now. I'm not saying he's the top two player in the league, but you know how people pick their favorite players. You know, my number one favorite player is Giannis, and then my second favorite player is Dame. So this is interesting because Lillard been beefing with Paul George. So I kind of saw a bit of what was happening. I just saw for sure that Dame had an interview and, you know, Dame said something about sending Paul George home and something like that. And Paul George was in the comment section talking about, but you gonna get sent home this year. Paul George, off rip, you ain't got nothing to talk about, bro. Like that, you, bro, you ain't, you ain't got no room to talk. You get on a better team now. You now you just bold. Now I understand you on a wonderful team. You know I don't I mean, look. That's a great team. One of the best benches in the league. You really have no room to talk. You know if it if it ain't you putting on that load of work, that backpack for real for real, and carrying that team. Like if you would have did that with OKC, you would have had room to talk. Because Russell was selling y'all, but you were selling too. On the low, you was low key selling, Paul George. You were selling your team too. When you look at them stats, bro. But uh, I mean, look, man. He in a different situation. I guess it changed up. I guess I don't know. Since you, since you got a better team. So, so let's get into the video. Oh yeah, he did drop that fifty-one. Saturday after he missed a pair of clutch free throws in the Trailblazers' loss. To the Clippers, Patrick Beverly, Paul George, let Lillard hear about it. Then Yeah. That's what y'all, that, that, that's what it was? Him missing the free throw? He, yeah, damn, you kind of bogus for that, but. Paul George, still like. You get gamed on. You both, man. Dame was like, y'all must have forgot. I sent you both home, then you teamed up in with Kawhi as oh. well. Take a listen to this. Asking me about Patrick Beverly, who I sent him home before at the end of a game. <laughs> Paul George just got sent home. And they gonna show the clip. Playoffs. Come here, man. The Come on, man. Shut up, bro. Paul George, you making yourself look real bad, man. And I respect you as a player the way you came back, messing up your leg, and you came back stronger than ever. Probably the best you've ever played. But you losing a little bit, of, a little bit of respect with the way you you come. You trying to talk crazy. You can't. You can't afford. Come on, come on, Paul George. You gotta do better. You gotta do better. Better. What the hell? You gotta do better, Paul George. You got to. Don't wait till you got so many pieces surrounding you to really want to talk. Come on, bro, if, come on, play him one-on-one. -on -one. Go ahead, go crazy. Go ahead, go back and forth. You was guarding him in this possession, and you want to talk crazy, bro. And like that is because of what they expect from me, which is the sign of respect. Mm -hmm. It shows what I've done mm. um, at a high clip more times than not. So I'm not offended by it. Um, go home, Pat. Just tell you how then y'all going to show the Pat clip. Good, good job, bro. I put them through in those situations previously. Mm. The chirping continued via incident. Oh, there it go. And you get sent home this shit. Like, Paul, come on, bro. George keeps switching teams, running from the grind. You boys is chunk. Oh. Man, Paul George, I mean, look. He Paul was on the paces. And you're getting set home this year. Pat Beverly adding Cancun on three. Dame followed up with keep switching teams. Running from the grind. You boys is chump. Okay. Oh, oh, he real. He real, though. I mean, regardless of what Dame got around him, he still try to work with what he got. He not running to no other team. Paul George, you went over there to OKC thinking y'all was going to be the next big three. You, Russell Westbrook, with Carmelo. That didn't work out at all. 
that whole OKC situation didn't work out for nobody because everybody went somewhere else. All y'all in different spots now. Russell, Rockets. You, Clippers. Carmelo with the Blazers right now. Y'all have no room to talk, Joe. It, man. We bring in NBA oh, champion Kendrick Perkins. Max is loving all of it. Stephen A, talk to me. Ooh. Who's under more pressure? Is it is it PG, PG or would you say it's Dame? PG? Oh, it's definitely Paul George. Make no mistake about it. <laughs> say this, okay? What? Paul George is a star. And Patrick Beverly is one of my favorite players and favorite people in the world. Don't mess with Dame. Don't don't mess with Dame Dollar. He's not the one. He's not the one. This brother on many, many occasions yes, sir. has up in big moments and he has closed. Yes, sir. His brother has carried this Portland Trailblazers franchise and has been the face of the franchise. And oh by the way. Come on, man. That's real facts. He ain't left. He ain't did nothing. He been working with what he got. One of the realest hoopers out there. He ain't, he, ain't, he ain't doing no extra, bro. He ain't left to no other team. None of that. Stayed with the same team that drafted him. Away, you know, not only is he getting paid, not only is he a star averaging better than 25, 26, sometimes 27 and 28 a game. This is also a guy that doesn't get enough credit for his community service. His, his exactly. The fact right. That People don't talk about that either. People don't talk about that either. The man do a whole lot for that city. It's crazy. He is a guy that is socially conscious, um, never gets in any kind of trouble or whatever. Mm -hmm. This dude is worthy of being the face of a franchise. And by the way, Max, you know his rap game. Come on now. Yeah. Brother's special, all right? In a multitude. He can rap too. Having said all of that, that none of that is the reason why Paul George is under more pressure. Paul George is under more pressure because A, Paul George hasn't been out of the first round since 2014. I don't think anybody... That's tough, PG. Shh. Be quiet. I remember. He hasn't been out of the first round since 2014. Now, obviously, he had that nasty injury in the summer games and what have you. He had to come back from that. But years in the last couple of years in Indiana, mm -hmm. the last couple of years in OKC, uh, before he arrived with the Clippers, he ain't been out of the first round. Then mm -hmm. now, you have a situation where he's that other star, the, 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 you know, the secondary star on the Los Angeles Clippers a team that's widely favored to win the championship and we all know that if paul george does the kind of things that he's capable of doing the clippers should win the chip exactly we all know this and so when you have those kind of expectations on your plate but you haven't been out of the first round in six years and dame dollar is fresh off a trip to the conference finals mm -hmm. all right we kind of look at paul george and say come on conference finals look at the team yeah no nurkic CJ McCollum finally hooping just a little bit. Who else? Rodney Hood? Come on, man. PG just. Who's under the most pressure? I know Dame's getting his money, two hundred fifty million dollars, and all of this other stuff. I get all of that, but the he's still hooping though. The franchise. He's carried them on his shoulders for years. He's fresh off a trip to the conference finals, and he doesn't have the expectations this year. That Paul George and the Clippers have, mm -hmm. and I definitely think because of it, Paul George is under more. They never expect it from Dame, though. They never do. Yeah, but he always make it some way. Besides that one season, pressure. they're both under a lot of pressure. But Damian Lillard is clearly under more. First of all, Max. <laughs> what be you uh, laughing? What's wrong with you? Keep running from the grind. Like Lillard is everything you want in a franchise player. Staying up in Portland saying, no, I'm not going to join anyone. I'm going to do it right here. And what did we say back then? Stephen A, oh, he should go here, he should go there. Really, two things had to happen because he was playing in Portland. One, Nurkic had to continue to improve. His trajectory had to take him past just a useful big into like a really good player. And it is looking like that has happened. He's like picked up where he left off and he's trending in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is he needed another guy, not just CJ, another guy. But are you slow, Max? How would how would he be under more pressure if the Clippers are one of their favorite teams to win the championship? I think the team that's favorite to win would be that though. 
This nigga Max, man. He be saying some weird stuff, man. Guy who he could rely on. And it looks like he's gotten that in Carmelo. He's got the face. What? Wait, wait, wait. Max, what did you just say? Stay. What did you just say? Rely on. And it looks like he needed another guy, not just CJ, another guy who he could rely on. And it looks like he's gotten that in Carmelo. In Melo? In Melo? Max! 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 And Melo? Over the Clippers? Do you see that team? Who's other more? Because they got Carmelo? Max, you off, you off the drugs, Max. He's got the things that we thought he needed if he was going to stay. Steve, to quote another rapper you may have heard of. In terms of Paul George going and Damian Lillard, don't bark up that tree. Oh, my God. That tree will fall on you. I don't know why your advisors ain't Oh, my God. I'm over here struggling. Do not play with Damian Lillard. He's, I got to hear what he I don't know why your advisors ain't forewarn you. Do not play with Damian Lillard. He's not the one. And we all smelled it on him from the beginning. That's why any failures he ever had in the playoffs, you're like, that doesn't, we didn't think Damian Lillard was that cat. We thought he was that dude to come up big. And that's the point. He has raised his already formidable game to MVP levels right now. He is putting on a show, mm -hmm. winning efforts. Lillard is special, and he's showing it. Sometimes a guy who does not have the same overall game, like on defense or whatever, can elevate his game to an extent that it surpasses a much more well-rounded guy, like a Paul George. That's what Damian Lillard has done. He is the man on his team. He has the things we thought he needed, and the attention is squarely on him. Carmelo is not what he needs, Max. Shut up. Shut up, bro. Carmelo is not what he needs. Paul George, as great as he is, is second fiddle on his team. The pressure is more on Damian Lillard. No, no, you fire. Max is an idiot. Ma Ma Max. Max. Why are you such an idiot? Like... I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'm siding with Lillard, Paul George. Just be quiet, bro. Just, just, just shut up, bro. Just shut up, bro. I still respect you, your game, and everything like that, but you're not winning that one over there, bro. You're not winning.